Okay guys, so this has been soaking overnight in black food colouring. So before that I let it soak for a good few hours in some water with vinegar in. Then I took it out of that water. So there's been no water, um, vinegar added to this, um, I'd say dye bath. Um, so you can see that it has actually brought out the pinks at the moment and the blues right there still floating in the water. So what I'm going to do now is add some vinegar and we'll hopefully get the blue striking. There we go. So I added vinegar and straight away that colour at the top looks more green to me and the water is starting to clear I think slightly but at the bottom oh, they are slowly starting to go green so we're going to get some of that beautiful teal I hope <laughs> can't wait okay so this uh, Everything in this jar, I put in the jar with some boiling water and alum and I left it for a good few hours as well, same amount of time as the vinegar, but I didn't drain the water, I just let it go cold, then I added my beans on the top, you can see that, and a little bit more cold water just to top it off. And that colour is now, this is last night that I put the beans in and now the colour is coming out beautifully. I wanted to do this experiment um, because I saw a video of a lady testing different mordants and she didn't, she just purely used alum and then made, it made the most beautiful purple tone so I'm hoping that we get some of that we are seeing the purple tone but we do tend to see that with the beans and then when we wash it goes so bluish but I'm not going to add any vinegar to this we are just simply going with the alum so I don't really know how long to leave this um it's going to have to stay inside the weather's gone a bit meh so it'll stay inside Probably for a couple of days. Maybe to see if the water clears or if I get impatient. <laughs> it definitely needs to stay in there today. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, so we've been at this like greenish stage for a couple of days. I've added like four extra teaspoon, uh, tablespoons of vinegar and it's not really doing any, anything else. So, we're going to empty this jar out. And again, let it dry a little bit, cake it up the other way, and then we'll try the purple. Okay, so I've not experienced that before. Um, the blues and greens have literally just washed straight out. Um, now, I'm going to attribute that to the fact that I've had this indoors, and it's been quite cool. It's cooled down quite a bit. So I think the heat has been too low for the blues to take. That's fine, we've got this lovely pinkish colour. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna let it dry as I say. And then we'll go this way. And maybe by the time this is dried and we're ready to set up for the next one, the sun will have come out again and we can stick it outside. Fingers crossed, we need some sunny weather again. <laughs> this is our purple, it is looking great. Um as I'm a tad bit nervous now, seeing what happened to the other, I'm considering actually just pouring out all the water and getting rid of the beans, popping the yarn and bits and bobs into a microwavable bowl and just giving it just a little tiny bit of heat in the microwave, very, very gently. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Our purple all set up. Let's see if we've got the takes. Fingers crossed. 
Okay, sorry for the weird angle and I hope the camera doesn't fall down. I'm going to try this again. So we still have our yarn here sitting, but I've got a feeling that that particular yarn is not going to play the way we expect it to or want it to. So I'm going to go back to the yarn that I have been using for all my, well for most of my dyeing experiments, which is this merino nylon blend that I've had soaking for a little while in some vinegar water. And I've picked up two skeins. Same as what we've got in that blue jar. Okay. And in we go into the black. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure if it's the yarn you see. Wow. Let me just show you what's in there. See that? We've got pinkish colours around the outside and blues in the middle and that is exactly what we wanted. So, uh, let me just yeah, should be enough in there. So we are going to leave that for a while. Oh, do we need? No, I'm not going to put any more vinegar in yet. I will put some more vinegar in later, so we can get that red to bind first. Hopefully. If you can see that really pink spot there, that's really cool. So yeah, I'm not sure if this one is just going to completely wash out again. It's not behaving the same way as my as it does when I use that type of yarn. This one, I don't know if I mentioned it, it's a silk wool cashmere blend. So it should work, but for some reason... It's not. So again, it could still just be the heat. Um, we're going to try and keep it as warm as possible. But I just feel like that, I can tell is struck already. Because that still feels, yeah, like it hasn't and it's going to just wash out. So, we shall see. Okay, so it's been outside for an hour. Um, it looks a lot more promising to me this. So I'm just going to add a splash of vinegar and then we'll leave it. Probably, I don't know, might bring it back in tonight. We'll see. And this is still the same. I might add some more vinegar to that too. Okay, so yeah, I washed this one slightly um, and it's all washed out really and I expect when I skein it up and give it a proper wash it's just going to wash out completely with some soap um, but this, look, look at this so we're giving it a rinse and nothing was really coming out we've got purples, we've got blues I'm hoping, oh look, a little flash of teal there <laughs> exciting, so I'm going to let these dry a little bit so I don't damage the fibres, well this one I'll probably just skein up now to be honest um, that's going to wash off, I didn't really rinse it very well, I just tried to get the majority of the dye out but yeah, um, I'll show you what these look like probably during the skeining and then after we'll do a little talk through ok so these are our results so this is with the black beans and no vinegar. So, well, the silk's still got a green issue because it was kind of yellowy to begin with. And then we've got this sort of powder blue here and here, which is lovely. And then this is a really bright blue. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab... This one, which had the 
onion skin and obviously we use vinegar. I'm not sure if you can tell the difference. I can see the difference. This is definitely more greeny. I know we had the onion skin in there but you can tell that it's definitely just a lot brighter without the vinegar. Lovely. And then this is what we've ended up with with our cake. So I've left this one on the what in order to show you a bit clearer. So you've got gradation from sort of purples and then you've got blues and then you've got sort of a bright pink there. So I think this end Uh, oh, I can't quite remember. Yeah, I think this end was the black. And you can see some of the teal here. And then this end we went with purples and it goes more bluish this way. So it's a really beautiful yarn and I've got 200 grams of that now to play with. Don't know what I'll make with it, but we'll make something. So... There we go, that's more experiments done. And lots of fun was had. <laughs> uh, now I've got to think what I want to do next because I've ordered some more yarn and I have my uh, knitting machine so I can make sock blanks. So any suggestions are welcome. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.